بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back It is time for the morning message The morning message today will shed some light on ثعلبة ثعلبة Sisterhood Organization and this organization is basically aiming to empower Muslim women and it is it is based in Durban to give us more information about ثعلبة Sisterhood Organization we have Sister Aisha Milanzi with us uh, all the way uh, via Zoom. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sister Aisha. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your efforts and increase you from khair. And may Allah azza wa jal take your organization from strength to strength. And I'm so happy always to see organizations, new organizations are coming to support the ummah and to uh, establish a foundation uh, and basis for the ummah wherever uh, wherever they are, may Allah Azza wa Jal accept from you. Allahumma Ameen. In the beginning, shed some light on your organization when it was founded, uh, why it was founded, what is the purpose, inshallah. Bismillah. Okay. Um, so, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. So, the Ta'alaba Sisterhood was founded by myself last year in June. It was founded with another sister. Um, Ms. Hajra Chapola, and basically our intention of starting the sisterhood was to educate, elevate, and empower um, Muslim women all around the world. But as we know, it's always best when you start at home. So that's why right now our foundation is based in Durban um, with the hope that, you know, we spread dawah in a way that's suitable for the new generation. So all of our events, we always ensure that um, we curate a program that is suitable for all age groups and mainly for females. So right now, our target audience is to empower the Muslim females and also particularly um, the African Muslim uh, females, because within the context of Africa, Islam has existed for over a thousand years. However, consistently, especially within the Southern Hemisphere, um, African Muslims feel like uh, guest to the religions, if I can state so boldly. So we want to ensure that when we're spreading the dawah, we are mostly spreading it um, to all women, but with a particular focus to African women and celebrating the achievements and successes of those women, inshallah. MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you success. I'm sure uh, wherever there is uh, sincerity and ikhlas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open the doors. And inshallah, after in, in few years' time, we'll see this organization, a big organization, and having so many, so many, uh, uh, yani so many uh, efforts and activities, inshallah. Uh, tell me more, inshallah. is it the focus is only da'wah or the, any other activities that, uh, that you intend to do or you are doing already? Apart from Dawah, one of our main focuses is also education. Um, education to all, education that is circular as well as education that's dini inclined. So we do promote that women in general go out and seek, um, and, and seek education. One of the main things that I particularly, as the founder, um, a quote that is extremely special to my heart is, Talabul ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslim. It is compulsory for every Muslim to seek knowledge. So with that type of mentality and with that type of saying that's extremely close to my heart, education is also something that we promote. And in line with that, inshallah, on the 15th of December um, 2024, we are going to be hosting a gala called the Inspire Her Gala, which is meant to be an, an event not only to spread dawah, but also to educate um, the Muslim females, inshallah. MashaAllah. Uh, any, any specific guests, uh, any, anyone uh, we're going to collaborate with or cooperate with uh, in the coming yes. uh, days? No. Yes. Allahumma Barik. We've actually collaborated with Hijab Plug, um, which is a group and organization that was founded in Malawi that we felt like aligned with our goals, wherein they promote hijabis across Africa um, doing amazing work. Further to that, we our lineup of speakers um, consists of Dr. Ghaniat Abisola, she is a medical practitioner originally from Nigeria with over 20 years of experience and she does integrative medicine pra 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 practices. And then we also have Ms. Aminam Simang, who is the CEO and founder of Women Boss Up, coming in to just educate us on how to be an entrepreneur and start a business. We have Khadija Milanzi, who is a third year university student that's going to just be educating us on the importance of circular education. And then we have Muallima Fatima Ramadani, who's also going to come and highlight the importance of education in Deen. So further to that, our day has also been 
is, is also filled up um, with a fashion show that we've put together with five local brands. And they're just going to come in and showcase the beauty of modesty and that wearing the hijab and wearing in a sunnah way that we have been told on how to dress as Muslim women can still be fashionable and also modest. Mm -hmm. How important is having... Uh, such an organization, especially in, in local areas and in African areas where, where there are uh, many centered African areas. Uh, can, you, can you tell us or elaborate also to the viewers the importance of such organizations in our communities? Um, so, you know, as African Muslims, we actually face a double-edged sword because when we step out and um, liars with our non-African, with our non-Muslim Africans, if we are seen like, oh my gosh, why are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim because there's hampers to be given? Or are you perhaps a Muslim because you've married with, uh, with, with, an, with, with another race? And then when we come into the religion itself, we are faced with sometimes feeling like, okay, are we irrelevant or have we really contributed um, to Islam? And the answer is yes, because beyond like Bilal radiallahu anhum, there's also other Sahabas and other prophets that were also African. And this is not highlighted enough and mentioned to the African child um, enough for them to feel comfortable and know that Islam is also my own. And also um, race is a concept that now has been conceptualized and has been highlighted, um, unlike the times of the Prophet Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when we are having these programs, it's also to educate that, listen, irrespective of what race you are, Islam is equal. And the only difference that a white person and a black person can have is in their piety. And that has been mentioned several times in the Quran, but we do not want to take away from the feelings that Africans usually have. So that's why these events are particularly important to have it in the local um, communities, because a lot of people, even though we might study it in school, I think it's um, in, in the school curriculum, it's not covered enough to understand um, that Islam is for one and all. So that's why it's important that we continue to spread the dawah and feel comfortable and know that Islam is just as much my own as it is yours. Mm -hmm. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless your efforts. And any, any message, any final message you want to give to the ummah and to the viewers who are uh, watching us, especially concerning supporting you as well and how to get in contact with you. Okay, so um, Alhamdulillah, um, the organization at this current point is run by myself and a planning committee of eight other amazing women located all over um, KZN. Um, we ask that if anybody would like to contribute to the organization, they can make contact with us um, either via our Instagram page, which is at the underscore the Alaba underscore sisterhood. Further to that, they can also reach us on our Alaba sisterhood line, which is 068. 249-003. We are a relatively new organization and we are absolutely keen to take um, constructive criticism in how we can grow, inshallah, and promote the deen because really that is the essence of what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And just a message to all the all the females out there that irrespective of what you are going through life, just remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got you. And yes, that's it from me. Aisha, Jazakumullah khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you in knowledge and in wisdom. And as I, as I told you in the beginning, with your ikhlas, with your sincerity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, take this organization from strength to strength. And in few years' time, inshallah, we'll see it supporting in many ways, supporting the ummah, educating the ummah, and giving da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and start to reap the fruits, inshallah. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakumullah khayran. Shukran for joining us this morning. Shukran jazeelan. All right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum as-salam. Tayyib, alhamdulillah, rabbil alayhi, another organization. And we, in our program, alhamdulillah, we aim to support uh, all the organizations, all the charitable organizations, the da'wah organizations who... Uh, who are trying to uh, support the Ummah, trying to help the Ummah in many ways, trying to help humanity in many ways, subhanAllah. And by us establishing these foundations on the ground, it's not just someone just talking, or, uh, like how it happened in Brazil or uh, in South America, where there were some Muslims at a certain time, but then they didn't establish on the ground institutes. And then because of that, the, the, those people or those Muslimin, etc., they're gone. That generation died and then came another generation. They didn't find any institutes on the ground to promote their identity and to keep their deeds. So having institutes, like, we should thank and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having these institutes and for, to, to make more because the ummah is increasing. 
especially in African areas. So I'm, I'm happy, alhamdulillah, for that, and I wish that we can have more and more to promote and to uh, support the ummah in different ways. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept. Let us take a short break. We'll come back after the break, inshallah.